Good day everybody and welcome to the channel. Thank you very much for joining me. I was hope to give you some good news today with the EX City actually arriving tomorrow. But unfortunately not. There's some delays going on and maybe if we push the guys on the end of the day, on the end of the day, we, we have the chance that it actually, you know, can damage the car and everything is then getting rushed and so forth. But it's coming. It's coming. Stay tuned as we are planning a lot for, for the EX City, what we plan on doing. I am going to do, if, if the car doesn't arrive uh, by Monday, I will be doing a video where I will have like teasers of, of what, what ideas I've got to do with the EX City. So it, as example, um, that display where you can actually see your speed and so forth, maybe testing that out on the cell phone side of things. Um, and then bits and pieces of everything else I'm planning on, on doing. Um, there's so much where we, we as the customer can actually improve the product even more. Um, so wait for that and, and look out for that. But I think the biggest excitement today is all about OpenAI. And uh, look, I've, I've been talking a bit about AI and, and how it actually can improve your experience in the car. But I think that this is probably the next best thing ever. Um, we th this is the next frontier uh, this is the next step this is where we transform into uh, a, a society that doesn't look at screens all the time i think i think that is so awesome and and i'm going to explain why i'm actually saying that coming from the ex city as well as 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 well as just open ai in in general but if open ai or someone from open ai is, is, is looking at this um you know maybe take some notes and uh, i do accept cash just by the way <laughs> so <laughs> I'm only joking, but um, I think that uh, I think that these things is, is definitely going to be s very much the new cell phone, and and why I'm saying that is that for the first time we can actually communicate completely with with that I, I call it the entity because at the moment it's, it's it's really just software and it's really just a large language model that we that we actually communicate with and I mean I. It's not anything close to, to, to what, what a human are, but are we are getting so, so close to the capabilities of, of what a human is? I'm going to put the link down below. I'm very excited. That's what I was, what I was talking about when I was actually talking about AI in the EX city that you will get into your car. Now it will be a situation. You will get into your car. You will talk to your agent and your assistant will naturally talk and, and actually you know, doing things for you. No more need need to press buttons or look at anything. And I really think this is this is so excited. And 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 the thing that I want to to think about going for the future is the fact that we will be talking to this agent, and we will be having a situation where we can we can even it, it can even call us. If you think about it, it can call us, it can talk to us, and then maybe you can even tell it, okay, no, I'm just having a meeting, but you know, we can talk it maybe around about four o'clock or something. Then you can give me a, a, a rundown on what's my emails like, what my messages is like, what my reminders are like, what my day is going on about, and you've got the confidence that at four o'clock you will you will basically speak to your agent but then that in a way is also looking at your cell phone and um, everything else uh, you will get to your home and your your agent will will greet you and see that you are actually home i mean the possibilities is absolutely endless what we can do with with this technology and i think there's a lot of people scared and i think we are living in some hectic times if it comes to artificial intelligence and and how hectic it, it is becoming but you basically will not need any more assistance if you know what i mean you, don't need an employer assistant. I think of, I think of the CEO and the guy that's very busy that just doesn't even have time to look at the, the cell phone. And um, you know, it, it's such an awesome thing. And give the start to get because I think it will will be a thing of confidence. We we will need to get confidence in in open AI and an agent like that to actually know that okay, it did actually give us the information of what our emails was was going about on our cell phone. Is that trust type of 
of our thing and I know there's a lot of trust politics uh, around open AI and so forth but I'm very excited I think that this is going to be next level I think that it's just going to make cars so much better um, for the first time we will be able to to have a full-on conversation in the car and still focusing on the road 100% I still say when your hands is on the steering wheel and you having a conversation, it will like be like having a conversation with you know with with a person in the car, and that's still better than using your hands. So I I really think that this is really really an awesome um, uh, next level technology that that is so 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 important for us. So I wanted to share that. I wanted to give you guys an update what's going on with the EX City and there's a lot that I'm planning and I just hope and pray I've get the, I can, can get the time and I can, can do what I'm planning on doing but I've got some very exciting things planned for the EX City. Things that even Volvo do not know about that I'm planning to do where, where we as the customer can make the product even better because if we need to wait for Volvo then obviously we're going to wait forever and we can't buy here a, a new car every year you know what I mean so I'm, I'm looking out for you guys guys I'll be seeing you in the next one and thank you very much for, for watching